I am a jewelry designer. I make all my jewelry. Uh, I'm an artist so that each piece is individual and I also do vintage. How long have you been doing it for? Oh, you don't want to know how many years. <laughs> it's a long, long time because uh, it's sort of in my blood. I've done it. I was an art teacher and I did it way back in the 70s. Then mm -hmm. once I retired, I started working again on my own. So I've been retired since 2002. This is all vintage, all in, in through here and right here on this table. Okay. Vintage is very reasonable. Um, it uh, can run for anywhere from uh, $10 to approximately 45 This is, um, I don't know if it'll show as well because yeah. it's on black, mm -hmm. but it's called um, Picasso Jasper, the big, the big, the larger pieces, and then it has um, a type of onyx in between and then sterling, and the starfish is um, called Tribe Silver, which I use very often. I use that rough kind of look. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes from Thailand. And this piece, I believe, is around 205. Very cute. I like this piece. This is very nice. Ah, this is, this is a favorite. This is uh, mussel. I don't think it's like our hull mussel. <laughs> Deeper sea mussel and from not another area, but it is very, very beautiful. This is um, copper. I like copper as well as I like sterling and uh, gold fill. Mm -hmm. uh, I like gold too, but the pricing of gold right it's now yes. puts it quite quite out. But these are all um, interesting pieces. This particular, these are Tibetan uh, Priya beads. Oh, really? Now that's interesting. I use kind of a, a, a vintage chain in between, and uh, I think they're quite beautiful. How much do the rings go for? The rings uh, start at 35 on these necklaces, uh, this is an artist that actually I picked up down in Florida. Oh. Uh, he is uh, a wonderful uh, glass um, artist who, uh, whose work shows in the Smithsonian catalog. Really? And uh, these pieces right now, I've only put them on cords because I wanted to um, you know, show them and so oh. forth. Um, they are 65. <laughs> and then I like a lot of the oriental flavor. Oh yeah. So uh, this this again is uh, cloisonne, and uh, it is um, amethyst, uh, different colors of jade, and gold gold filled. Beautiful. So, yeah, it is. It's a very pretty piece. It really something is. It's really nice. Nice. It very looks good. Yeah, and it's something different. Looks People, good. It really does. <laughs> you know, against the black, it really does. I'll give you the pricing on these. These okay. are all twenty uh, twenty five and thirty five. Oh wow. So they're very reasonable. Um, this is Milfora glass, and I just happened to find, you know, this beautiful uh, hand knotted piece that I put it on, and beautiful. it looks just fabulous. And for it does. twenty five dollars, it's quite oh my unique. God, really, it is. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, and then these pieces, the with the black, um, they are on a cord, which which is nice and light, mm -hmm. and this is a vintage black glass, uh, quite old. And then I've put some jade on the top of it. Beautiful. Very nice for thirty dollars. What is this? Then? This is so cool. Okay. <laughs> this is just a canoe. <laughs> oh, I love it. He's just cute. I liked him very much. Something for the is, seaside. Exactly, mm -hmm. and uh, just just kind of a nice little piece. And again, thirty. Like These that. are an interest, interesting mix of well, colors. Well, this is something she'll never be done again. Oh, okay. it, was, it was difficult, I take it. <laughs> it is, it okay. is. And um, it's very pretty. It's great. The colors are fabulous. It is uh, called, um, well, it's, it's, it's like crocheting, but it really isn't. It's a twisting of wire. Sure. And um, these pieces are um, tiger eye. Only they are a glass tiger eye. I can't think of the exact name right now. Okay. Now this is catching my eye over here. Tell me I about that. I love this. This was something that I made not too long ago. And um, the pricing on it is 105 which I think is quite reasonable. Reasonable, yes. It is onyx. Is it really? I wouldn't have even known that. Okay. Yep. This is white onyx. White onyx, yep. And I use a lot of white onyx in with black onyx. I mix them it's together. Beautiful. But this is white onyx, lapis lazuli. And then these are Japanese seed beads that are in between the gold and the silver. And the fish itself is again lamp work that I picked beautiful. up. I thought it was quite beautiful. And he ha I have a um, gold filled um, neck piece 
for the clasp. This is vintage uh, oh. German beads. These are German glass beads. Really and are. I love them. I think they're beautiful. And uh, I mixed them with some turquoise and some silver, made a bracelet, and then I have the earrings. So they're two separate, you know, they're separate, and the price of the bracelet would be, let's look, because it rubs off. This is, this is 95. Great. And the, um, this one right here is 50 on the earrings. Now, can people commission you and say, I want you to make a design with these type of materials? Absolutely. I have it all, the, I have that happen all the time. And okay. not only that, but I will tell people to bring some of their older jewelry that they're not wearing anymore. Um, maybe the grandmother had crystal, but it's outdated, mm -hmm. or this or that. Bring them in and we'll redesign together. That and is I have a, actually a working area. Mm -hmm. and uh, that we can work together in that studio. Mm -hmm. 